Good morning, friends. Welcome to the session. I hope you all are doing good. So in today's part, we will learn causal and time series model. Okay, so let us start. Definition: These methods are utilized when there is a trend in the data available. For example, suppose we have a data in the left column and we have data in the right column. If you can see the data in the left column, which is 25, 32. 24, 28, 26, 27. You will be able to understand that there is no trend in this data. But if you see the data on the right column, which is 26, 28, 29, 31, 32, and 35, you can clearly observe there is a trend, there is an increasing trend in the data. So, if we have to find out the forecast demand for the upcoming period, then it should be greater than. 35 okay so in the last class we have studied average method simple moving average method and exponential smoothing average method so if i calculate the forecast demand using average method for data 2 the value will be equal to 30.167 so you can easily observe the data is somewhere between this okay so, the simple moving average method in case of beta 2 is not giving the actual forecast demand for the next month. Okay. So, if you have a trend in data, you do not have to use the simple moving average method or exponential smoothing average method. In that case, you have to use the causal method, which are linear regression method or multiple regression method. So, first we will solve the linear regression method. Now let us solve a question in order to understand this method. Determine the net forecast using causal method. The data is for time 1 it is 26, time 2 which is 28, then 29, 31, 32, 35. So you can clearly observe the data is increasing. Okay. So let me first draw this data. Considering demand on the y-axis and time on the x-axis, this is time 1, time 2, time 3, time 4, 5 and 6. And taking this as a baseline of 25, I will have 26 here. Then I have 28, 29, 28, 29, 31. So now you can see I can draw a line along these points. Okay. So this point is this, this point is this, this is this. For this point, this is the term error. Okay. And for this point, this is the. So we have to find a line which will go along all these points and the error will be minimum. So, as for this point, the error is positive, and for this, the error is negative. We will find the square of the error. E square. Now, I can represent this line as y equal to a plus b t, where a and b are coefficient. Okay. So, the error will be y minus a minus bt this is the error okay so i will find the square of the error e square summation y minus a minus bt ka square okay and we have to minimize it okay in order to find out the value of a and b we will partially differentiate it and we will put it equal to zero so first i will differentiate with respect to a so i will get minus 2 y minus a minus pt okay this is with respect to a now with respect to b i will get this will be the summation 2 minus y minus a minus bt multiply by Okay, so if I put it equal to 0, I will get sigma y minus 
सिग्मा एन ए कंसिडरिंग द नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स माइनस बी जे कोफिशियंट सिग्मा टी ओके कर दूं जीरो सिग्मा वाई टी माइनस ए सिग्मा टी माइनस बी सिग्मा टी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू जीरो ओके दिस इज टी दिस इज वाई फॉर टाइम वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स ओके सो हियर वी हैव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी वन थर्टी टू एंड थर्टी फाइव सिग्मा वाई इज इक्वल टू वन एट्टी वन एंड सिग्मा टी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन दिस इज वाई टी ट्वेंटी सिक्स फिफ्टी सिक्स एट्टी सेवन वन ट्वेंटी फोर वन सिक्सटी टू टेन सो सिग्मा वाई टी विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्स सिक्स थ्री और हेयर टी स्क्वायर वन फोर नाइन सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी सिक्स सिग्मा टी स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल टू नाइंटी वन नाउ वी विल पुट दिस वैल्यूज इन द इक्वेशन सिग्मा वाई इज वन एट्टी वन माइनस एन आर सिक्स सिक्स ए माइनस बी सिग्मा टी इज ट्वेंटी वन इक्वल टू जीरो सिग्मा वाई टी इज सिक्स सिक्स थ्री माइनस ए ट्वेंटी वन माइनस बी सिग्मा टी स्क्वायर इज नाइंटी वन इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वी हैव टू इक्वेशंस एंड वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस टू इक्वेशंस आई कैन राइट देम एस If you solve these two equation, you will get a is equal to point six eight five seven. Okay. Now I can write y as twenty four point two six six seven plus one point six eight five seven t. In the question, we have to determine the next forecast. So This we can write as F seven equal to twenty four point two six six seven plus one point six eight five seven multiplied by seven. So this will be equal to thirty six point zero six okay seven. So this you can see it is greater than thirty five okay, which we have obtained using the causal method, and this method is. Also called as linear regression method. Okay. Now, if you apply this method to the data which does not have any train, so this data is also known as constant data, which is twenty five, thirty two, twenty four, twenty eight, twenty six, and twenty seven. As this data does not have any train, we can write it as y equal to c. Okay, so in that case, we have to find out the error, which will be y minus c square. So if I find out this method, this will come equal to sigma y over n, which is average. So you can say. If I apply linear regression method to the constant data, that will be equal to the simple average method. Okay. I hope you have understood this problem and the method. Please try it by yourself so that you get the real understanding behind the basics and learning of this method. Have a good day. Thank you.